Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, Learn Electrical Engineering 1 to 1 pod. Hello viewers, in last session we have uh, solved problem regarding mechanical rotational system. In today's session we will solve a problem and find the transfer function for an electrical system. Before uh, solving a problem regarding this electrical system, Let's uh, brush up the basic fundamentals. Now, if it is a resistor, let's see the relation, voltage current relation, that is V of T equal to R into I of T. And then we have I of T equal to V of T by R. If this is resistance R, and voltage across this. Now for an inductor. V of t equal to L d by dt of i of t. i of t equal to 1 by L integral V of t dt. The capacitor V of t equal to V equal to I of t dt I of t equal to C into D V of t by dt. Okay. Now, so we are supposed to know the voltage and current relationship for the elements R, L and C. With this data, we will solve one electrical system. For solving this particular electrical network, we are supposed to find the differential equation then um, get the s domain frame so that we can get the final transfer function let's convert this voltage source to current source frame here source transformation from voltage source to a current source here. This is what we have got. Here we have assumed at this particular nodes we have assumed voltages V1 and V2 here. At node 1 uh, we will write the differential equation frame here. Node 1 we will be applying KCL. V1 by R1 This is V1 here, C1 and through this is obviously this is node to C, V1 minus V2 by this is R2, this is okay, R1. Apply KCL at node 1 here, V1 by R1 plus C1 from the earlier current voltage current relationships across RLC we have seen from that. C1 to dV1 by dt plus V1 minus V2 by R2 equal to E by R1. Now this is our differential uh, frame. Now we will convert this into S domain now. V1 by S by R1 plus C1 into S into V1 of S plus V1 of S by R2 minus V2 of S by R2 equal to E of S by R1. Taking V1 of S common here, we get 1 by R1 plus S into C1 plus 1 by R2 minus V2 of S by R2 equal to E of S by R1. We will write the equation at node 2. Now applying KCL at node 2. Now at node 2, can you clear the C? That is V2 here, that is R2 here. Then we have C1 
see it too. Okay. Now, this is V2 minus V1 by R2 and this is C2 into dv2 by dt v2 minus v1 by r2 plus c2 into dv2 by dt equal to 0 this is our second differential equation we'll convert this into s domain v2 of s by r2 minus v1 of s by r2 plus c2 yes v2 of s equal to 0 v1 of s by r2 equal to v2 of s by r2 plus c2 yes v2 of s now from this v1 of s by r2 equal to v2 of s common here 1 by R2 plus C2 yes we get V1 of S equal to taking LCM R2 R2 gets cancelled that's 1 plus S C2 R2 into V2 of S so on the whole we are supposed to get the transfer function in terms of final output V2 of S by e of s avoid this v1 of s we'll substitute this equation 2 in equation 1 here we get 1 plus s into r2 c2 v2 of s into 1 by r1 plus s c1 s into c1 plus 1 by r2 minus v2 of s by r2 equal to e of s by r1 1 plus s into r2 c2 into r2 plus r1 plus s c1 r1 r2 we are taking the lcm simplifying this Now here we get R1, R1, R2, V2 of S by output by E of S equal to this cancel we have R2 1 plus S into R2 C2 into R1 plus R2 plus S into C1 into R1 R2 R1 R2 minus R1 ok this is our final transfer function you are supposed to write the differential equation 1 and 2 for final result presentation if you do have any queries and suggestions please comment in the comment box below Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.